This past winter, for her second time, marathon runner Becca Peasy out of Belmont, Massachusetts completed seven marathons on seven different continents in seven days. Becca became the first female to complete the 777 Challenge in 2016. Her next big event is the upcoming Boston Marathon. She spoke to students at Hopkinton Middle School about her experience completing a marathon on seven different continents. You guys are so lucky to be living in Hopkinton. This is so awesome. I'm so inspired to come out. Who's going to come watch the Boston Marathon? All of you. Thank you. Um, so, I, in 2016, I was given the opportunity to make history, to be the first American female to run seven marathons on seven continents in seven days. So I love to run, I love to travel. I thought, I'm gonna give it a shot, I have nothing to lose, and I went for it and I did it. So I was given the opportunity two years later, just this recent February, to do it again. And it was a big decision to make to do it again because everything went so well the first time and I was able to, to win all seven marathons. And it was a big decision and I said to my daughter for the second time, what do you think about this and she said yeah mom she's 10 years old she, we live in Belmont and she said I believe in you let's make it happen you can do it I studied the courses the locations everything that I needed to know um, this time I was given an opportunity by Tom Brady's company TB12 they said we heard what you're doing come out we will train you and we'll help you cross we'll help you physically and mentally to, to run 777. So I thought if it works for Tom Brady, it most certainly worked for me. So I'm gonna give it a shot. And I went out to Foxborough and I was working really, really hard with them and they met me at the finish line and it was so awesome. So one of the things that Tom Brady's company did was document my journey. So I will tell you about it and I'll show you the video that they made for me. My message is to the kids is dream big, believe in yourself and take chances. Right, and um, could you talk about um, how long it took you to run these seven marathons? How many days were you away? I was gone in total for 10 days. So the first time that I took on the 777, I was gone for 16. So we chartered a plane this time around, and it was much easier and a faster transition each time. And um, I understand you're training about uh, seven days a week. Um, what's that like? I mean, do you ever feel... Uh, pains from all that running <laughs> so I feel very fortunate to have running the running community behind me and, and everybody's always willing to go for a run with me and but I I really say listen to your body if something doesn't feel right or you're hurt or something back off until until you feel better and and to show up not finishing is not an option so prepare your mind study the course and put in the work and you mentioned you've been running marathons since you were 17 years old. Off the top of your head, can you think about how many marathons in total you've completed? I know for sure I've done 64 marathons, and my current goal is to finish a marathon in all 50 states, and I've done 34 states, but I've done 17 Boston marathons. My favorite day of the year, I run the Boston Marathon every year. What makes the Boston Marathon so special? The crowd support, you know, in, in the Red Sox updates and Wellesley Screen Tunnel, the right on Boylston, left on Hereford, right on Hereford, left on Boylston. It's, it's, there's nothing in the world like crossing the finish line of the Boston Marathon. Is the training going good? I know the weather has been a little wacky out there. This weather's ridiculous. It's April 6th and it's going to snow today. That's that's just so random. So, <laughs> But come Boston Marathon Day, Patriots Day, you never know what you're going to get, so you might as well train through everything. All right, and I understand you have a foundation as well. Can you talk a little bit about that? The Becca Peasy Foundation, last year we gave three graduate, we gave three scholarships to graduating seniors, and it was my way to give back to the community, and I partnered with the Belmont Boosters and Belmont Savings Bank, and to have this race, to do what I love and watch the community come together for the kids' one-mile run, and they all get shirts and medals, and then the 5K, we all get medals and shirts again, and, and it's such a fun day for the community, and it makes me feel good to give back to the community. So there's tons of, it's a lot of fun. It's a fun day, April 29th. So if you do come out, come say hello to me, and I'd love to see you there. All right, and I guess the good thing is with this uh, wild weather that you've pretty much ran in all elements, so you'll be ready. I have no, no excuses. How could I co could possibly complain about being cold when I ran a marathon in Antarctica? I can't. All right, so... Uh... Another great program here by uh, Desire to Inspire today. Uh, can you talk about what Desire to Inspire is all about? Desire to Inspire is fi finding ways to inspire our students to set goals and reach for those goals, get out of their comfort zones. And um, can you talk about uh, when Desire to Inspire uh, started? Yeah, we started right after the marathon bombing as a way to keep uh, the positive spirit of the Boston Marathon alive with our students here in town. Um, and so it's just evolved from 
being how are we going to keep that positive spirit alive to curriculum pieces that are all tied to the marathon, running events, guest speakers for our students. Teachers go to travel to Greece every year and they're supported by the 26.2 Foundation and the Examine Life program now. Um, they bring their, the, what they learn while they're in Greece and bring it back and put that into their curriculum as well. And I understand there's a lot of different um, programs and also uh, some activities going on surrounding Desire to Inspire uh, every year towards the marathon. Uh, could you talk a little bit about the activities that are going on around Desire to Inspire this year? So right now, this is our only event actually this year, but the last two or three years, we've actually had a whole school 2.62, and the entire school goes out and runs 2.62 miles. We're taking a little break this year. The weather's been a little funky, so it's been a little hard to schedule all those things. So. All right, well, um, can you uh, just talk about where people can find more information about Desire to Inspire? So also can, they can go right to the middle school uh, webpage, and there's links right on the webpage to Desire to Inspire, all the curriculum pieces, because we've uh, it's been presented on the national level and at the state level, so other schools can go and use our curriculum across the world. So it's, it's, a, great, it's a great program. All right, thank you very much. Thanks.